What's going on guys? TK back with another video. So today I want to go over the new Pokemon picnic mechanic that was announced in one of the last uh, Scarlet and Violet trailers. And I'm quite curious about this because apparently you, um, you can get eggs this way, right? So I guess that would assume that maybe daycares are out of the game. And um, I remember seeing some like talk talk on the streets in the uh, on the internet street saying um that some of the leaks were saying there's no more like daycares so that comes to mind how we're gonna breed uh competitive pokemon because you know in, in one of my videos i cover why you don't need ivs anymore in pokemon and why i think evs are enough to like diversify the competitive like uh field i guess like to keep diversity and people's play and things like that so niche they don't really like don't really contribute that much to competitive um, especially since hidden power isn't in the game um, but what i'm interested in to see is there are other reasons to have breeding in the game right egg moves right certain pokemon need to learn pokemon from other species like horiyama for example um, learns bullet punch by breeding with a different line i forgot exactly which line or maybe i think it's like is it lucario or something? whatever he gets bullet punch from a he doesn't learn bullet punch innately he has to he has to be taught from a different species right so you would have to breed a female Horiyama with a male of a species with bullet punch, right? Um, to teach the Makuhita bullet punch. But now, if daycare is not in the game and you get eggs this way, does that mean Pokemon Picnic is the new daycare? So is it gonna be, or is there, there is, are they gonna like scrap egg moves and make it like kind of like a move to the thing? I'm kind of curious to see how they're gonna do it, but. Um, IVs is a big reason why you need daycares because you have to breed you have to breed the perfect Pokemon from from eggs, right? Um, so if you want it like your or you know you use body cap, bottle caps, but it, I mean you have to get the Pokemon to level 100. So that depends on like um, how how like crazy the grind is or how like how easy it is to get to 100 because or they might change the cap. Maybe it's level 50 now for bottle cap. See, there's so much speculation. I don't know. They they might change so much in the game. I'm just curious to see what it is. But um, breeding is actually super important because of egg moves, IVs, etc. But they could get rid of IVs and then they can make all egg moves now teachable. But then what would be the point of breeding, right? Other than, I guess, shiny hunting would be like the main purpose. But um, I wonder if Pokemon Picnic is going to be the new daycare and how they're going to implement it. Like you go into Picnic and just, you, you I guess you, because it's usually like you in Sword and Shield, I guess they called it, it was like a camp, right? And you go into the camp and then you kind of like play with your party Pokemon or whatever. But how is it going to work in, in Pokemon Picnic? Like, are you just going to put two, two, uh, two parrots in there? They go, you know, they go go to town and then they just come out with an egg and then you kind of just do it that way. I wonder how, how much they're going to change with it. Because if daycares are going, then, um, yeah, they would have to change a lot when it comes to like breeding competitive Pokemon. So I'm actually quite cu curious to see what they do. But I think the picnic thing is cool, like especially for casuals, you know, you want to play with your partner Pokemon, give them a bath and make a sandwich. You know, <laughs> I saw the trailer and the trailer got, bro, the tomatoes look crazy on the, on the Switch, bro. There's some realistic tomatoes. I don't know, man. Like, I, I'm, I'm really curious. I feel like Scar Scarlet and Violet is going to shake up the game. Like they're going to, I just feel like they're going to change so much uh from past generations or maybe they don't change anything at all maybe i'm just maybe i just got my hopes up because i would like to see them change a lot of things like i want to make a separate video showing why i think ev should be like uh skill points like mmos and things like that but um i think i might do that actually that might be a separate video that that seems fun might as well i'm just thirsty for content right so i might as well do something but yeah there's if they take breeding out if they take daycares out and they make uh breeding streamlined they like streamline it through picnic i wouldn't mind like i really want them to get rid of ivs don't get rid of evs though but get rid of ivs in my opinion and um but yeah egg moves are still a thing so we'll see we'll see what happens i remember they even they even like changed the way you get egg moves and sort of shit. Oh, they made it easier they made it so you can learn egg moves from other from other pokey from other parents basically so if let's say you you um you bred a Horiyama, right? I'll just use Horiyama as an example. You bred a Horiyama, or you bred a, you use Horiyama to breed a Makuhita, and the Makuhita has bullet punch. You can actually evolve the Makuhita into Horiyama and then teach bullet punch to another Horiyama by putting those two Horiyamas together in daycare. They can be both males or both females, it doesn't matter. And then that parent 
or that that Horiyama Wood Bullet Punch will teach the other Horiyama Bullet Punch. They changed that to Sword of Shit. I thought that was very cool. I use that mechanic a lot, uh, especially during the early stages. But um, but yeah, let's see. I'm I'm kind of curious to see how they streamline it and, and make it. Hopefully, they make it easier. Hopefully, they make it better. But we'll see how we we'll see what happens when the game come out. But anyway, if you like this video, <laughs> like subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. All right.